plastic bags at the grocery store could soon be a thing of the past. The state Senate passed a bill banning single-use plastic bags. If it gets passed by the House, it could go into effect starting in 2020. So what would that mean for you? Our Drew Reeves has in-depth coverage of the bill as well as local reaction to it. Well, many times we keep plastic bags like these around the house or just throw them away. But if this bill were to go into effect, that would all come to an end starting in 2020. According to the Department of Public Works, 500 billion plastic bags are used each year around the world. And since they are difficult to recycle, most end up in landfills. They aren't really uh, sustainable. You know, you use them once, throw it away, and it goes and creates more pollution. I personally have tried to cut out single-use plastics. So Washington State is aiming to reduce plastic bag pollution by banning them altogether. I think it's a fabulous idea. We don't need any more landfill. Uh, it should have been outlawed a long time ago. The bill would make some exemptions for small plastic bags like those used to bag fruits and vegetables or meat. It would also require that any other bag cost eight cents. Eight cents. We can afford it. Outside of My Fresh Basket, we asked shoppers what they thought of the idea. Everyone we spoke with said they're for it. I think it would be overall more helpful, more sustainable, and I think cheaper for everyone in the long run. I think if it's going to help the environment and it's going to get people, you know, it, at first I think it's going to be hard for people to, you know, they're just going to complain. But in the long run, I think it's going to be a, a, a good process. However, some Republican senators spoke out against the bill. One called it a socialist method. Another bill was proposed in 2013 to ban plastic bags, but it never made it to a vote. Most do admit that if passed, it will likely take some getting used to. It's not that difficult to do. It just takes a little more effort and a little better for everyone in the long run. This bill has passed the Senate. It is now making its way into the House. In studio, Drew Reeves, KXY4 News.